Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be looking at the single player commands mod. Um, at first I'm gonna show you guys all its features and how what you can do with it and basic tips on how to use it and then I'm gonna show you guys how to get it and install it. Um, it's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna use a mod manager which I will also provide the download for. I will also provide the download link for the mod itself. So let's get started. So I'm just going to show you guys what you can do with the mod first. So as you can see, we have our mod. Oh, look, I didn't reset it yet, so we have jump height. So how do we, um, let's just restart everything, all right. So let's start off by doing something simple. Let's just, uh, you bring up the command prompt by pressing T. So you just press T, and then you get this multiplayer command prompt. Then what you want to do is just want to forward slash and then the command. My personal favorite is instant mine because it's really helpful when you're trying to like find things or, or build structures because basically what it does it gives you this nice little thing feature where you just need to press or tap one of the uh, tap um, tap one of the blocks and they once and they will just disappear so this is really helpful if you want to mine things and then to turn off the uh, command you just put in just put in the same command once again and it will oh, um, instant sorry I just messed up right now instant mine there we go let's see instant mine turn off and then the next one is um, the set speed what this does it just sets how fast you run so right now the default speed is 1 but I want to do it to 3.5 everything above is a bit too fast for me so 3.5 is just perfect as you can see you can just run as fast as you want and then the next one is for the set jump, which uh, the same thing as set speed, just it sets how high you can jump. Let's put that to 3.5 also. So you can see you can jump a lot higher. You can put it to whatever number you want, and you will go, uh, you will jump that height. There's still a few audio glitches, but I can understand it since it's not supposed to be in the game. So to get away all the commands that you put in, you just put in forward slash reset, and everything will be back to normal. As you can see. So uh, now I'm going to show you guys how you can get it. It's really easy. So first of all, go to the download link in the description and download the single player commands. Um, all, all you need to do is just scroll all the way down, 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 down. And here you have all the commands, by the way, and you have here you have all the um, item numbers. So you just put force life give and then the item number and how much you want. So say I want stone, I just put force slash give. 164 I get 64 stone so what you want to do is you just want to download it uh, the first one right here this is for 1.3 underscore 01 beta if you want to uh, I'm sure they're going to release a new version as soon as the new one's up but for now I also have 1.3 so just get that for whatever version you have and then you'll get a zip file uh, make sure you save it as and then save it somewhere you can remember where it is because uh, you need to then the mod manager only um, allows you to extract it from zip so you'll see it you'll see it in a minute so download the mod manager um, go to the link in the description also and you will find this mod manager you, all you need to do is download MMM Minecraft mod manager just download that and extract it and then just open up the file like that um, you'll get something like this hold on um, come on Come on, day. So you get something like this. As you can see I already have a few mods, so I'm not going to clean my Minecraft and all that. All you need to do is just click this uh, package with a plus on top, and then just select the zip file in which the single player command is inside, which is here. You just double click it, and it will be here. Then you want to click finish modding, and that will just create a new um, a new jar file with the mod inside. So make sure. If you have a skin installed on the fake Minecraft, then um, mod it and then put the skin in because it will delete the skin. So it's that simple. Um, if you want more tutorials on how to use the single player command, just leave it in the description or send me a PM. Also, subscribe to my channel. I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, have a nice day and peace.